In this guide, we're going to be covering all the abyssal creatures, tips and tricks on how to defeat them, and an extra special bonus at the end. Usually, there are one to two vents at the start or at the end of a level that allows you to take your submarine down below the main ocean. Down here, you will find one of the abyssal monsters. They are the Latcher, the Charybdis, or the Endworm. Starting off, let's look at the Latcher. This is probably the first abyssal monster that you will encounter. It is a crab-like monster that has long legs and, as the name suggests, tries to latch on and eat your submarine. It has 7,000 health and is a immune to stun. Its legs are armored and have 50% reduction to all internal damage types, bleeding and burning. The underside of the latcher is its weak point and this takes times two damage from internal, bleeding and burn damage types. Its primary attack is to use its tongue to attack your submarine. You can think of this as a harpoon. It will attach to your submarine and drag you towards the latcher. For the latcher's damage ranges, it does the following. If you are unfortunate enough to be outside the submarine and get eaten, you will receive 200 bite damage, 100 bleed damage, and be stunned for two seconds every second. When the tongue latches onto your submarine, this does 10 structural damage. And when its mouth gets close enough to bite, it will do between 100 to 350 structural damage in a radius of 5.5 meters. This will also stun everyone on board for up to three seconds. If the latcher lets go of your submarine, Submarine, it fires out clusters of barbed spikes that penetrate your submarine with a chance of 25%. These can do 10 laceration, 10 bleeding, and stun the target for 0.25 seconds. In addition, they also do 30 structural damage for anything they hit. None of the abyssal monsters drop anything on death, but you will be rewarded if you kill one when you have the side mission hunting ground. There are also abyssal islands down there which are full of the much needed alien resources. These can be used to craft advanced gear or be sold for a large profit. We will talk about some tips and tricks when dealing with abyssal monsters in a bit as it applies to all of them. But first, we're going to take a look at the Charybdis. This is a long snake-like creature with lots of tentacles off its main body. It also attacks with its mouth, circling the submarine and looking for a point to bite and ram your submarine. It has 8,000 health, is immune to stun and bleeding. It has 75% reduction to internal damage types and 50% reduction to burning damage. For its damage range, it does 250 bite damage, an insane 1000 bleeding damage, and stuns the target for 2 seconds. Against your submarine, it does 100 to 200 structural damage with a radius of 6.5 meters. This attack has a kinetic push force of 500 and can stun everyone on board for up to 3 seconds. Its weak point is its mouth, which it opens just before an attack. This part takes five times damage to internal, bleeding, and burn. Finally, we're going to look at the Endworm. The Endworm is currently the hardest common monster to defeat in the game. It is also one of the largest, and as the name suggests, it looks like a worm with a huge pincer mouth that it uses to attack with. It has a staggering 10,000 health, is immune to stun, and has armor plating covering its entire body. These plates make it immune to bleeding and reduce internal damage by 90% and burning damage by 75%. Its attack pattern is to circle around the submarine and at random intervals ram and bite it. For its damages, if you are unfortunate enough to be outside the submarine, it will do bite for 300 and bleeding for a massive 1000. It does structural damage from 150 to 600 in a range of up to 9 meters. It hits for a kinetic force of 1000 and this will apply a stun to everyone on board for 5 seconds. Currently, the best way to deal with the endworm is to use 1 to 2 nuclear railgun shells. This is to first remove all its armor before attacking the body. Then, if you're lucky with a railgun shell, you can cut its tail off and this potentially causes continuous bleeding damage to it. The mouth is also a good weak point to aim on its attack. If you would like more information about turrets and ammo types, you can check out my video guide on the turrets linked in the video description below. And remember, every time you kill an endworm, make sure to hit the like button on this video as only 2.1% of all the Barra Trauma players out there have completed this task. So it's a real flex. Now we're going to look at some tips and tricks when taking on all the abyssal monsters. For the 
railgun shells, it's best to load them with frag grenades instead of UEX. This is because these do 180 deep tissue damage, whereas UEX only does 50. So for one extra iron and some crafting time, cancelling out the other damages and resistances, you will be adding 110 when fighting the Latcher, 80 when fighting the Charybdis, and 50 when fighting the Endworm. The next tip is that you can use sonar decoys during the fight to lure the monsters away from your submarine. This is great to line up railgun shots or as a way to buy some time to make repairs if you're not already at the bottom of the abyss. And the final tip is to definitely use nukes if you have them, as they do a huge amount of damage. Just be sure not to fire them if the monster's too close to your submarine. As a final bonus, there is actually one more abyssal monster that is the toughest in the game, the Doom Worm. This is essentially the end worm, but it's 50% bigger, deals double the damage, and has an eye-watering 50,000 health. You will always encounter this one on the final mission of the campaign. You are able to kill this monster, but you will need a large crew, a fully upgraded submarine, and lots and lots of advanced ammunition, medical supplies, and repair resources to be able to take it down. Before we end this, Barotrauma is still in early access, meaning this video may be out of date when you view it. But it also means there are more monsters planned on the way, which I for one am really looking forward to. Check out my links below to support me, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and until next time. Peace. I want to give a huge shout out to all my supporters, especially the ones on Patreon. You mean the world to me and allow me to keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you. Na, na, na. This attack has a kinetic fush po fush posh fish fish posh. This attack. <laughs>